Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading an Arlick Unimax Center by me. So let's get into it. You had no idea that your first collaboration would happen so soon. But it was something nice. You did want to reconnect with a harbinger after all. But right now as you looked at the letter in front of you, you were trying to just think of how you were going to do this. You were going to write an article about a famous figure. And then... The next day, Arlequina said that she would deal with him, and he knew what that meant for the Fatui, as mercy was not truly their thing, and Arlequina particularly did not seem to be too keen on it, but you had made a promise, and you are going to stick to it no matter what. So, after publishing the article, you heard the news of that man being found slaughtered in his apartment. And you were a little bit spooked. A part of you felt guilty, but you also knew from that article that you published and the sources that you had that he was a very terrible person, someone who did not deserve to live. And under ideal circumstances, perhaps in an utopia, he would have gotten justice. But those witch people knew how to hide from the law. And perhaps in this life, their only justice would be death. And that's what Arlequina served. And you could not blame her for wanting to reenact her own version of it. Not when the courts seemed to be unable to do anything about it. And after that mission happened, the two of you met. Arlequina had wanted to thank you for your cooperation. And right now, as she sat before you in your home, you couldn't help but smile a tight smile as you were unsure how your relationship would go from there. I understand if you do not like my methods, Wyan. But I thought since you offered, you already knew what you were offering. I do. I knew what I was doing. I'm just a little bit surprised. Even though I know I shouldn't be. You didn't do anything unexpected to me. But, I guess. I want to know how you do it. Is it easy for you? Do you find it easy to do that to people? Like you have some ownership over their lives? I do not have ownership over anyone. I merely have enough power to enact my own justice. And enough sense to know that there's no other way around it. I think that's what makes me do it. I don't have any feelings for those who depart from this world. They are gone. And as someone who values their time, I wouldn't waste time reminiscing on the past and what could have been. Doesn't that make more sense to you? I suppose so. It does. I just don't agree with your methods so much. But I also understand where you're coming from. And also, the lack of availability of anything else. If that makes sense to you. I understand. Really, I don't blame you for your thought process. But I must thank you for your cooperation. And I will give you a chance to step back and decide if you want to continue with this. You knew that's not how Arlequina typically proceeded. Or anyone in the Fatui, really. Once you had to deal with them, you had to stick with it until the end. So she was being nice to you. This was the kindness that she could offer. And you couldn't help but smile softly as you shook your head. No. You see, I'm a journalist, but... I don't mind making the world a better place. Even if it means working from the shadows... Or doing things that people would not agree with. What matters to me is the results. And right now, I'm happy that you were able to save those people. They had no other way out. And you rescued them. So, I think the good outweighs the bad. So I'm going to continue with this. If you will allow me. I will. You've been a good partner, after all. I suppose I've been. But outside of that, I wanted to talk to you as not your partner in crime, but rather something else. 
And what would that be? As your friend. You see, I've been interested in knowing more about you. If we're going to work together for a while now, then I suppose I have the right to know more about who I'm working with. I've repaid your debt. And I want to know more about my partner now. She smiled. Usually she would not indulge. Usually she would not feel tempted to. But something about you was interesting enough that she was willing to divulge into her life and to let you in a little bit. Besides, it would do her no harm. After all, she had decided you were trustworthy enough to have a little bit of an idea of what her plans would be and to be her partner. So letting you in on a few secrets would not be trouble. Now the first thing in mind was taking you to the house. But she quickly scraped that idea. Who knew what the children would ask? After all, it was not very common that Arlequina brought anyone home. She was not friendly. Not someone who had anyone that she could call a friend. Besides, maybe a few, and the term went by loosely. In truth, she was not sure what she could do with you. To help you feel closer to her. And perhaps trust her more. But then again, she realized it would be sooner or later that those children of the house would find out who she was working with. And the sooner, the better. She was not going to be intimidated by a few questions. She looked at you, thinking for a while, before finally leaning forward in her seat. Then I suppose I could invite you to my home. You've graciously invited me to yours. And the least that I could do is do the same in return. I suppose so, but where do you live? Do you even live anywhere? I don't think you even... I don't know. But the idea of you living normally is a little bit funny to me. Nothing about you is normal, Arlequino. I'm sure you've observed. I have. But you best believe that I eat and sleep like normal people. And I do have a home of my own. But for the most part, I live with the children of the house. And I suppose that will be our first destination. If you like. You smiled, nodding. I would like that very much. And I suppose there will be more destinations in the future? Yes. There will be. Just be patient, and I will let you know everything your heart desires. And that's when you knew that whatever had bloomed between you two was finally getting off to a start.